Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one between the Chicago Bears and our home team. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Recon, one thirty two fighter. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Completes it to the tight end, Burton. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. First carry for Mike Davis, the former Seahawk. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. On third down, Trubisky. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. First down. First down, at the 46-yard line. Get out! Come on, Double dog, double dog. That's the way. So first down carry for Davis. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 12 at the 44-yard line. Second and 12, Trubisky hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. the gun, Trubisky, open man there is Patterson, complete, and he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37, seven yards on the quick slant and a first down, Trubisky will come up here first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive, They go back to the ground now with Davis. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. 
you're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. On second and 11 now, Trubisky. That's complete to the tight end, Broniker. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 25-yard line. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Fifty. Ready? Let's go, baby. Turn it up. Get that ball. Get that ball. Check. One more. One more. Check. Hot. Hot. Watch the They'll try and run four with Davis, and he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Here's Trubisky to throw. His pass caught at the four. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. From eight yards out, as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter, that's when the knockout occurs. And it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Now Davis. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Mike Davis, his first touchdown on the year. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's... Through the end zone for a touchback. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Throwing now is Carr. Escaping the pressure right. Side complete to Williams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well executed 22 yard gain. Ready? 
Working from the gun, it's Carr. Caught out right by Renfro. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play? and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Carr going to throw. It's a screen to Richard. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Eight yards on the screen there, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. He dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Over the middle, complete. That's Bryant. Des Bryant with nothing but green grass ahead of him. Touchdown, Chicago. Des Bryant. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bears are able to show off their quick strike ability. The extra point up and good. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. He's checking crap. Switch it, switch it, switch it, kid, switch it. It's first. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Throwing on second and 14. Carr, man open left side. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Like Antonio Brown, Tyrell Williams came to the Raiders in March. Came up the coast from L.A. where he caught 41 balls last year with the Chargers. His best year was 2016 when the Chargers were still in San Diego. Over 1,000 yards, 
seven touchdowns, and the Raiders really have high hopes for this 27-year-old receiver. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. At the Bears, 47-yard line. Now, the lady. Mike, 45. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Check 13. Play action, now it's Carr, rolling to his left. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. to Richard, the running back. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. Last season for Carlson, bit of a strange rookie year. Won the Vikings job, then was let go week two after going 0 for 3, but he picked things back up. Remember, he was drafted to cure their kicking woes, and he ends up going 0 for 3 against Green Bay, including the potential game winner. Gets cut, picked up by the Raiders, 16 for 17 the rest of the season. I'd say at the end of the year, a pretty good success story. A little jet sweep to start the drive. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Now it's Davis fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. The tackle there by LaMarcus Joyner. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 35 on second down, Trubisky. Now the hook up here to Allen Robinson. 12 yards there and a first down. Trubisky now 10 of 10 to start the game. How about that? As he comes up on a first and 10. On the run, it's Davis. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, to give to Davis. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Bud Dupree, a former first-round pick, in on the stop. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now it's Trubisky. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Hooked there by Nick Nelson. And they'll have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. But that's the kind of interception that can save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. 
And the throw complete here to Williams. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Carr gives to Richard. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. The 20, 10, and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 77 yards. First and goal at the four yard line. The Raiders into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and goal just inside the five. Check three, check three. Sick guy. Check this guy. Here's Jacobs. And he's going to get this back to the three yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? On second and goal. Carr, the quick slant caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Ryan Grant, his first touchdown on the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position, not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. On the draw, this is Davis. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Now Trubisky. Now left side here to Bryant. And he is going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Davis. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It was Maurice Hurst who got him down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, as they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Get ready, get ready, get ready. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. 
sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Sliding out of the pocket, and that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And that right there, his first incompletion of the game, pretty remarkable. And so let's start talking about all-time records because with that incompletion, maybe over a two-game sequence or maybe starts a new streak now because Ryan Tannehill, over two games, hit 25 straight. Now, the incompletion, we're, we're taking this record out of play. But Mark Brunel, when he's a Washington, 22 straight completions to start a game. This guy is on fire. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Here's the Raiders punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Bears take over. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room, because here's what I think happened. They got in there, and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, de we got the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Caught out left side by Robinson. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Hey, hey, we got four, got four down, four down. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Burton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 43. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. They'll run on first down. Davis. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. They keep it with Davis on first down. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second down, it's Davis. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that's knocked away and incomplete. 
not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. First down, So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Bus formation, bus formation. Come on, boys, come on. Hey, watch their team, watch their White Monday, down. This is Richard. Jamar Taylor will be credited with a tackle. From the 40 now on second down, Carr. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that right there is what Jalen Richard can bring to this offense. I mean, last year, yes, he had 55 carries, but they used him more as a receiver. He had 68 catches in 2018, which was tied for the team lead. Really adds a nice element to the backfield for Derek Carr and company. First down, Richard. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first and 10, here's Carr. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right, got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On second down now, Richard. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now, Carr. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they keep those sticks moving forward, that time with a gain of three. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. The former giant, Prince Amukamara, on the stop. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. You can't block me. You can't block me. To throw its car. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35 yard line. Khalil Mack, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year.
Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Shotgun now for Carr. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. Welcome back now here in London. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well... Into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20 yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On second down, Davis. And yeah, not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. They'll run it again here with Davis. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. They'll run on first down. Davis. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brings up second and eight at the 37-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Trubisky fighting the former Eagle, Burton, for the Chicago first. First and 10 at the 48-yard line.
Trubisky now. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. From the shotgun is Trubisky. This one out left to the tight end, Burton. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, it's Davis. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Watch left, watch left, watch left. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Trubisky to throw. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Trey Burton, his first touchdown on the year as the Bears push further out in front. It used to be that if you were a big wide receiver and the coaches wanted to make you a tight end, you resisted the move. Now it's almost a glamour position because they have the mismatch advantage. Are you going to cover them with a linebacker? They're probably faster. A defensive back, they're going to be bigger. Tight end is the new big time position. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field with this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, oh, let's see. There's some that, there be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. Car now on first down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Car. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. To throw again on second down. Carr. The pass complete to Ryan Graham. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards there and a first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Again, it's Carr. And avoids the contact by sliding. That's on the Raiders' big money man, the free agent tackle, Trent Brown. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. 
Again, they'll throw with Carr. Steps away to his left. And his throw is incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Throwing on second and long. Carr. The hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Well, they are able to get nine yards out of that, but now it's fourth down. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Car to throw for it on fourth down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Bears, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to...